one. Call this meeting to order, Rockwood City Council, regular meeting Wednesday, September 4, 2019, and it is 6 p.m. City Clerk, you want to call the roll? Mayor Price. Here. Councilman Smith. Here. Councilman Ferguson. Here. Councilwoman Martin is absent and excused. Councilman Forrester. Here. Councilman Dasky. Here. Councilman Hartzell. Here. City Attorney Maniclier. City Manager Fetro. Here. Okay. Please stand for invocation tonight by uh, Councilman Ferguson and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, everyone. Um, what I'd like to do is share this from Psalm 34, verse 18. It says, The Lord is near when their heart breaks. David goes on to say he saves those whose spirits are very sad. With all that is going on in this nation, and uh, of course, we understand with this hurricane uh, that there have been seven people that have passed away in the Bahamas, a total of 11 have been affected by this storm, losses of life. But we also want to remember for a moment of silence, we want to remember the shooting and those that were affected in Texas. There were a total of seven people that were killed and 22 that were injured. Let's have a moment of silence. So Father, we thank you that even as we begin this meeting tonight, we invite your presence and we thank you that you are God that is drawn to those that hearts are breaking and spirits are sad. Today we are sad as a result of the loss of life, not only in the Bahamas and the devastation in the Bahamas, but Lord, we're sad even for those families that have been affected by the shooting in Texas. Father, we ask that you would, your word says that you would comfort those that mourn in Zion, that you would give us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Thank you that you do that. And Father, even as we begin this meeting, we thank you right now that as councilmen and as all of our supportive staff, that Father, that we would follow your leadership and that everything that we do would please you. It's in your holy name we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Okay, the council has before them the minutes of the regular meeting, August 21st, 2019. What's a pleasure to council? Mr. Chairman, Go ahead. move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting on August 21st, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Come down for presentations. We have our employee of the quarter, our first one tonight, uh, Thomas Delzell. Come on up. I can't believe that. <laughs> you were owed a big one on this one. <laughs> Our apologies. All right, Tom, let me read this for you here, and then we're going to have some pictures taken. Dear Tom, on behalf of myself as mayor of the city of Rockledge and the city council and the citizens of Rockledge and your fellow employees, please accept my congratulations on being selected as the city employee of the quarter of 2019. Your department has recognized you for being a dependable, conscientious employee with excellent attendance and a positive attitude. One of your assigned duties was the removal of equipment from police vehicles and was very tedious and time consuming work, but you got the job done while displaying professionalism and a great work ethic. Recently, it's been noted that while doing this, you have also been outfitting the five new police vehicles with equipment at the same time. We appreciate you working diligently to provide our public safety department with safe and dependable equipment in their vehicles. Your work on the police vehicles has been noticed by the local board dealership and Ford approving you to do recall work on the police SUVs in order to keep them in service. 
This is one example of how your work brings a positive reflection on not only you, but the city as well. So thank you very much and keep up the good work. Thank you. This is your pen from the mayor. Post hurricane day. <laughs> right. Do we have the Sandage family here? They're cleaning up their yard. Yeah. Probably <laughs> are. <laughs> they won our residential beautification award, and we're going to make sure they get this. Hopefully, we'll get them back here. We can invite them on the 18th. I know the Sandages real well. <clears throat> Sure, they'd want to be recognized. And our next one is a mayoral pro proclamation. Is anybody here from the Space Coast uh, EDC? I didn't think so. I'm not going to go through this, uh, through the uh, proclamation tonight. Uh, let the record reflect. We have ex we have acknowledged it and uh, adopted it, and we will have it mailed to Space Coast. Thanks. All for award tonight. We got a big meeting tonight with a lot of stuff on the agenda. Thank you. Congrats. <clears throat> Financial budget report. There's none tonight. Public hearing. We have a public hearing tonight for the fiscal year 2020 general administrative budget was formulated using the mortgage rate of 6.10, which has not been modified since the City Council Budget Workshop on to July 31st, 2019. At this time, I declare this matter open to the public for comment. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to comment on our 2020 General Administrative Budget and millage rate? Seeing none, close the public hearing. Now, B, public hearing. Resolution establishing a recomputed proposed millage rate. Who will offer me that resolution? Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Offer a resolution entitled um, Resolution Establishing the Precomputed Proposed Millage Rate for 2019 Ad Valorem Taxes in the City of Rockledge and publicly announcing the percentage increase in property taxes tentatively adopted by the Rockledge City Council and move to read the resolution in its entirety and to open the matter for public hearing. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. City Attorney. Resolution establishing a recomputed <clears throat> proposed millage rate for 2019 ad valorem taxes in the City of Rockledge and publicly announcing the percentage increase in the property taxes tentatively adopted by the Rockledge City Council. Whereas, the Rockland City Council here to advise the Brevard County property appraiser that the rolled back millage rate <clears throat> for the city of Rockland for the year 2019 would be $5.9052 per $1,000 of assessed valuation and that the proposed millage rate for 2019 Avalorum taxes in the city of Rockland was $6.10 per $1,000 of assessed valuation and further advise said property appraiser of the date, time, and place at which a public hearing would be held to consider the proposed millage rate and the tentative budget. And whereas, pursuant to section 200.0652C, Florida statutes, the Rockland City Council has at this meeting on the date set, <clears throat> stated below, conducted a public hearing on the tentative budget and the proposed millage rate and has recomputed said proposed millage rate and desires to hereby publicly announce said recomputed proposed millage rate and the percentage of which said recomputed proposed millage rate exceeds the rollback rate. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Rockledge, Florida as follows. Section 1. 
that the recomputed proposed millage rate for 2019 Avalorum taxation in the city of Rockledge is hereby established at $6.10 per $1,000 of assessed valuation of property <coughs> subject to Avalorum taxation in the city of Rockledge. Section two, the percentage by which said recomputed proposed millage rate of $6.10 per $1,000 exceeds the rollback rate of $5.052 per $1,000 per $1,000 is 3.30%. Section three, the percentage increase in the 2019 property taxes tentatively adopted by the Rockland City Council is 3.30%. Passed and adopted at a regular meeting of the City Council of the City of Rockledge this date, 2019. Thank you, Mr. City Attorney. At this time, I open this up to the public for comment. Is there anybody here that would like to uh, discuss our uh, millage rate of 6.10? Seeing none, close Mr. public hearing. Mr. Chairman, go ahead. Before we vote, I'd just like to uh, make my annual comments here concerning the budget and the tax rates that we're going to be passing here tonight. Um, hopefully passing here tonight, uh, and that is that although we're going to be going through this fairly fast, for those of you who are not familiar with the process in the audience here tonight, uh, the <coughs> staff started this process back in the spring, preparing all of this stuff. The Budget Finance Committee started working on it in early June, and uh, while we're not going to spend hours debating it and working Touching it up tonight, we have done that through a series of previous meetings, uh, previous public meetings. So I just wanted to uh, let people know we were not blowing through it without due consideration. Thank you. What's the pleasure to council? Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. Good. We have a motion, we have a second. Do we have any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Let's move on. C, resolution certifying the holding of a public hearing on a tentative general administrative budget for fiscal year 2020. Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I'd like to offer a resolution entitled certifying the holding of a public hearing on the tentative general administrative budget for the fiscal year 2020 without change or amendment. And I move to read the resolution in its entirety. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Mr. City Attorney. Resolution of the City <clears throat> of the Rockland City Council certifying the holding of a public hearing on the tentative general administrative budget of said city for the fiscal year 2019-2020 pursuant to section 200.065-2C Florida statutes and adopting said city's tentative general administrative budget for said fiscal year without change or amendment. Whereas Section 200.0652C Florida Statutes requires each Florida city to hold a public hearing on its tentative budget and proposed millage rate and provides that at said hearing, the governing body of the city shall amend the tentative budget as it sees fit and adopt such amended tentative budget and pursuant to section 200.0652C Florida Statutes, the Rockland City Council had this meet, has at this meeting on the date stated below, conducted a public hearing on the tentative budget of the City of Rockledge for the fiscal year 2019-2020 and has determined that said tentative budget should be adopted in its present form without change or amendment as the City's tentative general administrative budget for the fiscal year 2019-2020. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Rockledge, Florida, that the tentative general administrative budget of the City of Rockledge for the fiscal year 2019-2020, a copy of which is attached to and by this reference made a part of this resolution, is hereby adopted as the tentative general administrative budget of the City of Rockledge for the fiscal year 2019-2020. Pass and adopted at a regular meeting of the City Council of the City of Rockledge, Florida, this fourth day of September, 2019. What's a pleasure to Council? Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, let's go. D, ordinance. First reading, fiscal year 2020 general administrative budget. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance for the first reading for the fiscal year 2020 for the general administration budget by title only. 
Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Mr. City Attorney. In ordinance of the City of Rockford, Rivard County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenues and expenses in the general administrative operations of said city for the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019 and ending September 30th, 2020. Appropriating funds for payment of the anticipated expenses of the City of Rockford for said fiscal year and adopting the general administrative budget of said city for said fiscal year, authorizing the Rockland City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget, declaring that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no uh, public hearing. What is the uh, pleasure of the council? Mr. Chairman, Go ahead. move to authorize the publication and public hearing to be held on September 18, 2019. Second. second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Let's move on. E ordinance, first reading, fiscal year 2020 sewer system budget. Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance entitled fiscal year 2020 sewer system budget and move for the first reading of the ordinance by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those same sign. Motion carries, Mr. City Attorney. In ordinance of the City of Rockland, Vard County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenue and expenses for the operation of the Rockland sewer system during the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019 and ending September 30th, 2020. Appropriating funds for payment of the anticipated expenses of the Rockland sewer system and said fiscal year and adopting the budget for the operations of the Rockland sewer system for said fiscal year authorizing the Rockland City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget and providing that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a um, first reading. There is no public hearing. What's the pleasure to counsel? Mr. Chair, Go ahead. I move to authorize publication and a public hearing to be held. Second. On September 18, 2019. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. F, ordinance, first reading, fiscal year 2020 stormwater management fund budget. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance uh, for the first reading, fiscal year 2020 stormwater management uh, fund budget by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Mr. City Attorney. In ordinance of the City of Rockland, Var County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenue and expenses for the operation of the Rockledge Stormwater Management Fund during the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019 and ending September 30th, 2020. Appropriating funds for the payment of the anticipated expenses of operation, administration, and maintenance of the stormwater drainage facilities of the City of Rockledge and to carry out all other purposes of the utility for said fiscal year and adopting the budget for the operation <clears throat> of the Rockledge stormwater drainage facilities for said fiscal year, authorizing the Rockland City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget providing that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no public hearing. What's the pleasure to counsel? Mr. Chairman, Go ahead. move to authorize publication and a public hearing to be held on September 18, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Let's move on. G ordinance. First reading, fiscal year 2020 sanitation services budget. Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance entitled Fiscal Year 2020 Sanitation Services Budget and move for the first reading of the ordinance by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries, Mr. City Attorney. In ordinance of the City of Rockland, Vard County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenue and expenses <clears throat> for the operation of the Rockland Sanitation Services during the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019, <coughs> and ending September 30th, 2020. Appropriating funds for payment of the anticipated expenses of the Rockland Sanitation Services for said fiscal year. Authorizing the Rockland City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget. Providing that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance. Providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no public hearing. What's the pleasure to counsel? Mr. Chair, Go ahead. I move to authorize publication and a public hearing to be held on September 18, 2019. 
Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. H, ordinance, first reading, fiscal year 2020 community redevelopment agency management fund budget. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance uh, for the first reading, fiscal year 2020 community redevelopment agency management fund budget by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries, Mr. City Attorney. In an ordinance of the City of Rockledge, Brevard County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenue and expenses for the operation of the Rockledge Community Redevelopment Agency Management Fund during the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019, and ending September 30, 2020. Appropriating funds for the payment of the anticipated expenses of operation, administration, and maintenance of the Rockledge Community Redevelopment Agency and to carry out all other purposes of the Community Redevelopment Agency for said fiscal year and adopting the budget for the operations of the Rockledge Community Redevelopment Agency for said fiscal year. Authorizing the Rockland City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget, providing that invalidity and portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no public hearing. What's a pleasure to council? Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. move to authorize publication mm -hmm. and a public hearing to be held on September 18th, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. Ordinance, first reading, fiscal year 2020 rental facilities budget. Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance entitled the fiscal year 2020 rental facilities budget and move for the first reading of the ordinance by title only. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries, Mr. City Attorney. In order to the City of Rockledge, Brevard County, Florida, determining the anticipated revenue and expenses for the operation of the Rockledge rental facilities during the fiscal year commencing October 1, 2019 and ending September 30th, 2020. Appropriating funds for the payment of the anticipated expenses of the Rockledge rental facilities and for said fiscal, for said fiscal year. Authorizing the Rockford City Manager to make certain transfers of appropriations in said budget, providing that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no public hearing. What's a pleasure to Council? Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I move to authorize publication of public hearing to be held on September 18, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. J, ordinance. Mr. For, Chair. Yes. Um, I'd like to offer an ordinance uh, for first reading, amending section 39.17 of the Rockledge Code of Ordinances, adding a sanitation impact fee for all new construction and read by title only. Second. second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Mr. City Attorney. In order to the City of Rockledge, Vard County, Florida, amending section 39.17 of the Rockledge Code of Ordinances, quote, impact fees, close quote, to add a sanitation impact fee to all new construction, declaring that invalidity and a portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. This is the first hearing, the first reading, so there is no public hearing. What's a pleasure to Council? Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. move to authorize publication and public hearing uh, to be held on September 18, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. K, ordinance. Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I'd like to offer an ordinance entitled Amending Section 17-12B of the Rockledge Code of Ordinances, increasing the gallonage charge for su uh, sewer usage and move for the first reading of the ordinance by title only. Second. second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor signify by saying <clears throat> aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Mr. City Attorney. In ordinance of the City of Rockledge of Guard County, Florida, amending section 17-12B of the Rockledge Code of Ordinances by increasing the gallonage charge by 5% for said sewer usage per month for each of the next three physical years, declaring that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof for other purposes. This is a first reading. There is no public hearing. What's a pleasure to Council? Mr. Chair. Good. I move to authorize publication and um, public hearing to be held on September 18th, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Let's move on to L, ordinance, first reading. 
Mr. Chairman? Yep. I'd like to offer an ordinance for the first reading, amending section 9-18 of the Rockledge Code of Ordinance. This is by increasing certain recycling and collection fees and to read uh, by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Mr. City Attorney. In order to the City of Rockledge, Regard County, Florida, amending section 9-18, garbage collection fees of the Rockledge Code of Ordinances to increase residential recycling and commercial slash multifamily fees. Declaring that invalidity of any portion thereof shall not affect the remaining portions of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and other purposes. This is a first reading. No public hearing. Much pleasure to council. Mr. Chairman, move to authorize publication and a public hearing to be held on September 18th, 2019. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carries. Let's move on. M, second reading and public hearing ordinance. Mr. Chair. Yep. I'd like to offer ordinance number 1748-2019, entitled Amending the Rockledge Land Development Regulations Regarding Recently Annexed Property, and move for the second reading of the ordinance by title only. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Mr. City Attorney. Ordinance number 1748-2019. In ordinance of the City of Rockledge, Bergara County, Florida, amending the Rockledge Land Development Regulations, Part 3, Procedures and Processes, to add a new Section 31.34, Recently Amended Property, establishing procedures to ensure the planning and development of said property is accomplished in an orderly fashion to designate the appropriate future uses for said property. Recently amended. Recently amended. Uh, it's recently Recently annexed. Okay, all right. It doesn't look like amended. You like me to read that again in its entirety or just continue from? Continue recently. on. The uh, We'll start after uh, section 31.34, recently annexed property, establishing procedures to ensure the planning and development of said property is accomplished in an orderly fashion to designate the appropriate future uses of said property, amending the Rockledge Land Development Regulations to add a definition for, quote, recently annexed property, close quote, at section 1.95, declaring that invalidity of any portion hereof shall not affect the remaining portion of this ordinance, providing for the effective date hereof and for other purposes. At this time, I open this to the public for comments. Anybody want to comment about the new ordinance 1748? Seeing none, close public hearing. What's a pleasure to council? Mr. Chair. Good. I move for the adoption of the ordinance. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed, same time. Motion carries. Okay, who's going to give me reports from boards and committees? Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I move to be and receive the minutes of the following meetings. The Rockledge Environmental Enhancement Tree Board minutes of the meetings on August 8th, 2019, and to consider independently any recommendations contained. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. The Rockledge Tree Board has no recommendation. We have no unfinished business. Consent business, Mr. Dasky. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, uh, move for the approval of these consent business items. A, uh, Barton Boulevard road closures for the city manager for uh, number one, the Hot Rock and Nights Car Show, October 19, 2019, and two, Rockledge Art and Craft Show for February 15th and 16th, 2020. B, approval per for the preliminary population estimates as of April 1st, 2019, University of Florida Bureau of Economic and Business Research for the Planning Division. C, approval of the renewal of recycling services agreement with Waste Management Inc. of Florida for the Public Works Department. D, approval of uh, ratica ratification of Teamsters contract amendment and memorandum of understanding for the city manager and E, approval for the memorandum of agreement for FDOT, uh, maintenance of vegetation on US-1, and Fisk Boulevard for the Public Works Department. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. This is consent business, there is no discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. New business, action item, 
proposed city council meeting schedule for calendar year 2020. City clerk. Thank you, Mayor. Ordinance number 1608 of 2012 requires that city council adopt a meeting <coughs> schedule for the uh, following calendar year by December 31st. If the uh, submitted proposed schedule meets with approval, a resolution will be drafted and officially it will be adopted by resolution. Does anybody have any questions of what we're doing here and, and why we're changing the date in September? You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, the city manager and assistant city manager and I sat down and uh, really fleshed out the calendar for next year and it was um, recognized that a couple of the meetings in September it would have been in it would have exceeded our budget deadlines so rather than being the first and third meetings in September they will now be the second and fourth if it meets with approval to meet your requirements under trim notice correct okay, anybody have any other questions no, sir. okay I'm looking for a motion. Chairman, go ahead I'll move to approve the proposed council budget or council meeting schedule for calendar year 2020 second we have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, B, preliminary, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. B, action item, request to amend section 216 Rockledge Code of Ordinance, modifying the qualifying period for elections. City Clerk. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Um, essentially, uh, at a meeting of the Brevard County City Clerks Association, we were informed by the Supervisor of Elections, Lori Scott, that because of some new regulations in state statute, that their requirements have changed. And so they need all information from municipalities by the 78th day preceding the election. Our current qualifying period runs from the 67th day to the 77th day. And so therefore, or I'm sorry, the 77th to the 67th, meaning that we would miss that deadline by 11 days. So Supervisor Scott requested that the municipalities work with their councils to amend the qualifying period so that we can meet their deadlines. Again, these are statutory. Uh, they have to comply. The Supervisor of Elections Office has to comply with them. Um, and even before this, oftentimes it would be in conflict with their deadlines, our qualifying period. So um, I, I have made the recommendation to bump it up by two weeks. It would still be the full 10 days from noon on the Tuesday until the following Friday at noon. So nothing changes in so far as length of time for qualifying, merely it's two weeks sooner uh, than it is. And, and this is for the candidates in the audience right now. This is for the year 2020, not this year. Correct. All right. Any other questions of the clerk? No, sir. Mr. Chair. I'm looking. Go ahead. I move to approve the recommendation to amend Section 2-16A, Rockledge Code of Ordinances, by modifying the qualifying period for elections and further move to permit any future changes to the qualifying period to be executed by resolution. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Mr. Chairman. Yes. If I can interrupt, while we're on the subject of elections, uh, Lisa, I think I've asked you this before, and I'm probably going to keep asking you, and you're probably going to keep telling me that I can't do what I want to do, but um, the um, when we file, we have to open a campaign account and write a check for our filing fee on that campaign account. And then, then if we're unopposed, we turn right back around and go close the campaign account because we don't need it anymore. And, and that's a paint. Is that a state law? That is. It absolutely is. Any qualifying fee must be paid by a campaign check from a campaign account. That's not. That's not a city 
stipulation. That is state statute. I thought I remembered that was the answer, but it just seems so. <laughs> I guess I'm just complaining about it again. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next on our agenda is, is not an agenda item, but ratification of declaration of emergency Hurricane Dorian, city manager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In light of Hurricane Dorian that thankfully just left our coast, um, I want to bring to council's attention that I, in fact, last week received individual verbal approval from each council person for the mayor to declare a local state of emergency for the city of Rockledge. Uh, even though, again, that as we know, the Brevard County one is the one that really uh, counts, if you will. Um, but I did receive that approval from each council person verbally. Uh, so I'd respectfully asked council to uh, ratify that action. And secondly, I also got authority verbally, individually, from council to close the necessary days for non-essential personnel, which ended up being this past Tuesday, September 3rd, and today, September 4th, and I respectfully request uh, authorization to pay those employees regular wages as well. Mr. Chairman. Yes, go ahead. I'll move to ratify the action taken to declare a local state of emergency and authorize staff to draft a requisite resolution, including uh, paying for the uh, people who missed work because of the storm for t t what, Monday and Tuesday, or Tuesday okay. and Tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm sorry. Okay. We have a motion, we have a second. Does everybody understand what we're doing? Yes, sir. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, now let's move on. Petitions, remonstrances, and communications. Is there anybody in the audience like to speak? You got a card? I do. I have a card. Mike Cador. Mike Cador, come forward, sir. Name and address for the record, please. Michael Cador, 1311 Hideaway Lane, Rockledge, Florida. And thank you so much, Council, for allowing me to be speak briefly. I just wanted to stand before you to say, uh, not only as a citizen, but as a volunteer in the city, uh, to say thank you for our urgency and our professionalism during this uh, most recent storm. Uh, Rock Edge always considers to be on top of things and moving forward. Um, but I also wanted to, to share not only a thank you, but volunteering with our Aging Matters in Brevard. Uh, we have a lot of seniors who live here within our city, and those seniors um, actually volunteer as well. And being with Aging Matters, I had an opportunity to speak with the, uh, the CEO. And tomorrow, those seniors who go out and serve meals to other seniors are gonna have a little bit of a break. Um, I partnered with Rockledge High School where they have some student athletes who are going to help serve some meals tomorrow between 10 and noon. And to hear that those uh, young people immediately jumped on board to be able to help serve those meals, I wanted to come on and say not only thank you for what you do, but we have some great young citizens who are doing some great things in our city to be able to help as well tomorrow. Not sure of your schedule, but 10 to 12 tomorrow, we'll be at the community kitchen getting ready to go and serve some hot meals to some of our seniors here in the city of Rockledge. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mike. We appreciate that. All right. Anything else? That will be all, and uh, thank you guys so much again. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Anybody else? Lisa, any other cards, no? Nope. Anybody else want to speak? Seeing none, let's move on. City manager report. Mayor and council, just a couple of quick things. Um, first, I wanted to update you all. As you may recall, last Wednesday was the Port Canaveral Commission meeting, uh, of which um, previously to that meeting, the date of that meeting, Representative Soroy uh, was going to attend the meeting and discuss an item with regard to the port funding and you all, I think, remember the issue regarding the Indian River Lagoon. So the evening, uh, the Tuesday evening before, uh, that item was pulled from the agenda. Uh, and so Representative Soroy did not attend the meeting. Uh, that item was not really discussed, even though I think the chairman brought it back up, and I guess because the new newspaper article, the day of the meeting, uh, anyway, had a few things that I think the chairman maybe not was terribly happy with, but regardless, so they briefly talked about it, 
but no action was taken. And the uh, outcome was, my understanding is that Representative Soroy will meet with each individual uh, commission person um, in the near future, just to discuss their ideas, trying to come to some resolution, uh, I think, versus trying to apply what the representative was trying to do originally. So that's the latest on that action item. Uh, I had council wanted me to update you, so that's, that's the very latest as we know it. And just secondly, Mayor and Council, I want to say thank you for your support during the, um, obviously, the most recent storm leaving our coast today. We are very thankful and very blessed that we dodged a major bullet. Um, although I will tell you the, the professionals in the back of the room were absolutely ready, as ready as we can be, should that storm have truly hit our coast. Um, it gives me great comfort to know that we have such great professionals ready to serve the citizens, so thank you to you all. I know several of us haven't been home since Monday morning, so we're looking forward to our own beds tonight. <laughs> so again, thank you all, and thank you to Mayor and Council and others here who were also in the EOC with us in the bunker. So thank you, and back to you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, city Attorney Litigation Report, I see none tonight. So we're going to move on. For reports from the dais, city clerk. Thanks, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to say that I'm glad everybody is safe, and I believe I echo the sentiments of the city manager that we really did dodge a major bullet. Yep. City attorney. Um, tonight was the 20th time that I've read the uh, budget. budget ordinances and I just wanted to thank this council and every other council that has given me the privilege to do it. Um, it's one of the most important things that the city does every year and uh, I appreciate you allowing me to draft the ordinances and read them to the public. The public may not agree with that but <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. Okay. Councilman Hartzell. I just feel blessed we dodged that bullet and uh... That's all I've been thinking about for the last few days. I can't think of anything else. And most people in Florida, you're right. Dr. Schmidt. Yes, sir, this just information according to policy. This coming Sunday, September the 8th, um, Altamese and I will be cruising. <laughs> Hopefully the weather permits in Bermuda for a week. We'll be going for a whole week. So um, I think policy says if we're going to be out of town, we have to let you know. So we're going to be... Make sure the weather is good, <laughs> but uh, we're going to spend the uh, week in Bermuda. Thank you very much. Great. Dr. Ferguson. Well, good evening. Um, great meeting. Um, thankfully, we uh, dodged a bullet, as uh, many have shared tonight, but everybody did not. And I just want us to uh, just continue to remember uh, those families that have been devastated by Hurricane Dorian. Uh, believe it or not, uh, my vacation last week was supposed to be in Bahamas, and of course, uh, I'm still here, thankfully. But at the same time, I have at least five or six families uh, that are part of my ministry uh, that are um, from that area. Uh, my grandfather, believe it or not, was Bahamian, and so I have uh, Bahamian roots as well. But let's continue to remember uh, those families that have been affected by uh, Hurricane Dorian. Uh, at this time, there are seven people specifically in that area that have been uh, killed, uh, and they're, the numbers they're expecting to increase over the next few days. Um, sure. At least 45% of those islands in that northern section of the Bahamas have been devastated and completely mm -hmm. wiped out. And so let's continue. We're grateful, truly we're grateful in this area, uh, because the way it looked four or five days ago, it was coming right at us. Uh, but we know prayer changes everything, and we thank God for his protection. Also, I want to, without any way to uh, say this other than uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Fetro, thank you, staff. Uh, you guys are always on top of things, always well prepared. And, of course, for the past few days, I've been in touch with Dr. Fetro, and every day she's on top of it, giving me an update of what's going on, of course. And then you guys, the sacrifice you make and your staff make. And uh, we're sleeping most of the time, at least most of us are sleeping, other than Mr. Mayor. Uh, but uh, most of us are sleeping, and you guys are making sure that we're safe and updated. We have to say thank you for that. Uh, the sacrifices you guys made, of course, Mr. Mayor as well, uh, the sacrifices that you all make. I uh, also want to um, invite everybody to uh, PATH. PATH stands for uh, uh, Praise at the Hub. 
on the 14th of September. Uh, believe it or not, my birthday is on the 15th, so uh, if you want to come to church, hang out with me on the 15th, that'll be great. But the 14th of September, yeah, right here at the Hub at 6 o'clock, something called Path, Praise at the Hub. Uh, we have different groups that are going to be coming, just singing songs. Uh, Coco uh, High School uh, Choir yeah, should be in attendance as well, as we know that they got accepted to be traveling to Carnegie Hall sometime in October, I believe. So they're going to come and join us and sing for us. Beautiful job those young people are doing. Uh, lastly, I want to um, share that on the 22nd of August, myself and Dr. Brent, uh, Brenda Fetro attended a meeting with Dr. Um, doctor, maybe a doctor, I'm not sure if he is, but Senator uh, Tom Wright. Uh, that meeting went very well. It was in Titusville, uh, went exceptionally well. And of course, there was a meeting that was planned uh, with uh, Representative Soroy. Uh, that meeting was uh, scheduled for September 6th, but that meeting, of course, because of the storm, has now been postponed. I yield, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councilman Dasky. Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, I had the honor and the privilege of attending a couple of the EOC meetings uh, during the um, hurricane um, and hurricane prep. Um, it was very enlightening, and I, and I thank the staff and uh, thank Dr. Fedro uh, for allowing me to be there and to hear it, to see what goes on. Um, and I, I said this during the meetings, I'll say it publicly now, thank you again. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to uh, the staff that wasn't there, the behind the scenes staff that, that uh, keep the city functioning well. And we all appreciate what you do for us. Thank you. Um, the 9-11 event next Wednesday, it's coming up on us real quick. Um, so please mark your calendars if you're in town. Um, please try to be there, 6 p.m. at the Civic Hub. It'll be, be the first real event that we've had there since the um, dedication of the uh, Civic Hub. So looking forward to it. Um, we're expecting a good turnout. Hopefully the weather will cooperate uh, for us. Um, we had that problem a couple years ago, but it looks like we got that a week early and out of our system. So those ones that are out there in the uh, Caribbean or wherever they're at, they can stay there um, or go elsewhere. Um, and finally, I will be leaving myself on uh, September 13th, uh, the Friday after 9-11, uh, for a trip to Pennsylvania to see my Nittany Lions beat the Pittsburgh uh, <laughs> Panthers. Yeah, Thank you. Who did, I, uh, right. uh, doc, Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, who pipes in this music at, through the hub, the music that comes in? It's actually programmed. Um, actually, our assistant city manager made the selections, but we purchased it and it's piped, it's a program there to- Who made the selection? The assistant city manager did, with some advice from some others, but certainly really? the assistant city manager- Did you all hear the music coming in this evening? Yeah. It was like bongos, man. So you oh, no, no, there's a gentleman that oh, is out there playing. Was. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. I'm getting that car doing this. I'm like, I thought you meant the music. No, the bongos is a gentleman oh, that was, that's out okay. there every day. Usually. I got out the car jamming like, hey. <laughs> sorry. I know it was a tribute to the Bahamians, the islands, or what the hell. Sorry. I got my dance on getting out the car, man. What? That's amazing. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, I, I thought you need, see, you I need to invite him. Before. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we all be out there doing this. <laughs> I got to meet him. Okay. I thought that was music was being piped in for real. I was like, wow, I didn't know we had it so, like that. So we can just turn off the music and start singing. Assistant city manager. Okay. <laughs> you didn't know you knew the music. Now I knew to get a credit to, right? Now does he look like somebody that would select that music? Not at, at all. Tie. That's all I like. Look at that tie. Look at that tie. <laughs> I, I think like, he has shorts on. You got shorts on? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> very, very disappointed in our assistant. Uh, <laughs> That's why I had to ask, where did the music come from? <laughs> That's not it. No, no. Yeah, I got to hand it to the assistant city manager now. He's over there in the bunker. <laughs> With a hurricane going on, and he's working on budget numbers. He's got his computer out, crunching numbers while everybody else is going, is the thing going to stop, or is it going to come, or not? He's working but on the numbers. Uh, he's doing numbers. Yeah, he is the numbers guy. Yes, he is. Um, is it my turn yet? Yes, it is. It's your turn. Right. <laughs> um, I just, 
I can't say enough to the staff, and, and it starts with you guys who are sitting in the back back there. But, um, you know, one of the things I've learned to look for in, a, in an emergency type situation is, is level cool heads, people not panicking, people knowing what their jobs are and doing them. And that is the only thing I saw out of you guys during this event. Um, I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in REOC and uh, over at the public safety building and it was constant everywhere. Everybody was cool, calm, doing their jobs, prepared, whether the thing went away or it came closer, they were prepared. The only sign of panic I saw the whole time was when I asked Dr. Fetro if we were still gonna have the council meeting tonight. <laughs> and her mouth dropped open and said, uh, yeah, we've got to have the council meeting <laughs> to meet the deadlines to get our reports, our uh, budgets in for the state. And uh, <laughs> so she had recruited the chief back there to get the Humvee and go to your houses and get you if you had no other way to get here. But we were having a meeting tonight, even by candlelight. <laughs> of course, the first thing I asked her was, is Dr. Smith on a cruise? <laughs> I was afraid you were out on a cruise ship during all this. I'm more like, no, no, I hope not. That but, was discussed uh, in the bunker. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> but I just want to thank all of you. Um, it, it was uh, a very professional, uh, well done. Everything that I saw was great. And uh, I want to thank you all for that because you did it. Uh, I think I'm done. Okay. Um, I look forward to 9-11 out here at the Civic Hub. That's going to be a very interesting event this year. We're going to have a great speaker that actually was on Air Force One that day. It's going to be very exciting. I've, I've heard him speak before. He's a great guy, and, and uh, he's got a great story to tell, too. But next Saturday, the 14th at 9 a.m., I will be at the Rockledge Presbyterian Church giving a state of the city. So if anybody wants to come, and I think it's been advertised, if any council person wants to come, it's been advertised, one, two or more councilmen will be there. <coughs> council people will be there. So you're welcome to come. At the Rockledge, Rockledge Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. Down by the river. At Orange Avenue and uh, Rockledge Drive. At 9 a.m. Saturday the 14th, and they have a big crowd coming. And a good breakfast. Yeah, they actually they'll feed your breakfast there as well. Yeah, if you want to come. But I'm going to give a state of the city, and it's going to be uh, pretty interesting and always fun. And if there's nothing else before this uh, city council, I will adjourn this meeting at 6:52 p.m. <laughs> wow.